Memory The persistence of learning over time through the storage and retrieval of information. Encoding The processing of information into the memory system, for example, by extracting meaning. Storage The retention of encoded information over time. Retrieval the process of getting information out of memory storage. Sensory memory The immediate, very brief recording of sensory information in the memory system. Short-term memory Activated memory that holds a few items briefly, such as the seven digits of a phone number while dialing, before the information is stored or forgotten. Long-term memory the relatively permanent and limitless storehouse of the memory system includes knowledge, skills, and experiences. Working memory A newer understanding of short-term memory that involves conscious, active processing of incoming auditory and visual spatial information and of information retrieved from long-term memory. Automatic processing Unconscious encoding of incidental information, such as space, time, and frequency, and of well-learned information, such as word meanings. Effortful processing Encoding that requires attention and conscious effort. Rehearsal The conscious repetition of information, either to maintain it in consciousness or to encode it for storage. Spacing effect The tendency for distributed study or practice to yield better long-term retention than is achieved through mass study or practice. Serial position effect Our tendency to recall best the last and first terms in a list. Visual encoding The encoding of picture images. Acoustic encoding the encoding of sound, especially the sound of words. Semantic encoding The encoding of meaning, including the meaning of words. Imagery Mental picture, a powerful aid to effortful processing, especially when combined with semantic. Encoding Mnemonics Memory aids, especially those techniques that use vivid imagery and organizational devices. Chunking Organizing items into familiar, manageable units often occurs automatically. Iconic memory A momentary sensory memory of visual stimuli, a photographic or picture image memory lasting no more than a few tenths of a second. Echoic memory 
a momentary sensory memory of auditory stimuli, if attention is elsewhere, sounds and words can still be recalled within three or four seconds. Flashbulb memory A clear memory of an emotionally significant moment or event. Amnesia The loss of memory Implicit memory Retention independent of conscious recollection Explicit memory Memory of facts and experiences that one can consciously know and declare Hippocampus a neural center that is located in the limbic system helps process explicit memories for storage. Recall A measure of memory in which the person must retrieve information learned earlier, as on a fill-in-the-blank test. Recognition A measure of memory in which the person need only identify items previously learned, as on a multiple choice test. Relearning A measure of memory that assesses the amount of time saved when learning material for a second time. Priming The activation, often unconsciously, of particular associations in memory. Deja vu That eerie sense that I've experienced this before, cues from the current situation may subconsciously trigger retrieval of an earlier experience. Mood congruent memory The tendency to recall experiences that are consistent with one's current good or bad mood. The disruptive effect of prior learning on the recall of new information. Retroactive interference The disruptive effect of new learning on the recall of old information. Repression In psychoanalytic theory, the basic defense mechanism that banishes from consciousness. Anxiety arousing thoughts, feelings, and memories. Misinformation effect Incorporating misleading information into one's memory of an event Source amnesia Attributing to the wrong source an event we have experienced, heard about, read about, or imagined. Source amnesia, along with the misinformation effect, is at the heart of many false memories. Associative learning Definition Learning that certain events occur together, the events may be two stimuli array. Response and its consequences Researchers Aristotle, John Locke, David Hume Example Smell fresh cookies, eat and are satisfied, the next time you smell fresh cookies you will expect eating them. Will satisfy you again.
Classical conditioning Definition Learn to associate two stimuli and thus anticipate events Researcher Ivan Pavlov Example Lightning and thunder leads to lightning and anticipation of thunder with wincing Operant conditioning Definition Learn to associate a response and its consequence and thus repeat acts followed by good results and avoid acts followed by bad results. Researcher B.F. Skinner Example If rewarded, continue. If punished, will not continue. Observational learning Definition We learn from others' experiences Researcher Albert Bandura Example We see someone solve a puzzle and get a reward so we perform the trick more quickly. Unconditioned response Definition, in classical conditioning, the unlearned, naturally occurring response to the U.S. such as salivation when food is in the mouth researcher Ivan Pavlov, example, salivation in mouth did too. Food was unlearned. Unconditioned Stimulus Definition, in classical conditioning, a stimulus that unconditionally triggers a response. Researcher, Ivan Pavlov, example, food in mouth automatically triggers the salivary reflex. Conditioned response Definition, in classical conditioning, the learned response to a previously neutral stimulus. Researcher, Ivan Pavlov, example, salivation in response to the tone was conditioned upon the dog. Learning to associate tone with food. Conditioned stimulus. Definition, in classical conditioning, an originally irrelevant stimulus that, after assication with a U.S., comes to trigger a conditioned response. Researcher, Ivan Pavlov, example, the previously neutral tone stimulus that now triggered the conditional salivation. Acquisition Definition, in classical conditioning, the initial stage, when one links a neutral stimulus and an unconditioned stimulus so that the neutral stimulus begins triggering the conditioned response, in operant conditioning, the strengthening of a reinforced response researcher, Michael T. Rail. Example, girlfriend liked onions so onions became associated with kissing and onion breath began too. Scent tingles up his spine and harouse him. Higher order conditioning. Definition, a procedure in which the conditioned stimulus in one conditioning experience is paired with a new neutral stimulus creating a second conditioned stimulus researcher, Ivan Pavlov. Example, animal that has learned tone predicts food might then learn that light predicts tone and respond to the light alone. Extinction Definition, the diminishing of a conditioned response, occurs in classical conditioning when the U.S. 
does not follow a CS, occurs in operant conditioning when a response is no longer reinforced. Researcher Ivan Pavlov, example, tone sounded but no food causes salivation to stop. Spontaneous recovery Definition, the reappearance, after a pause, of an extinguished conditioned response, researcher. Ivan Pavlov, example, pause of several house until next tone caused spontaneous reappearing of salivation to the tone. Generalization Definition, the tendency, once a response has been conditioned, for stimuli similar to the conditioned stimulus to elicit similar responses. Researcher, Ivan Pavlov, example, Little Albert, was conditioned to be afraid of the white rat and went on to generalize the fear to anything white. Free are four-legged. Ecologically relevant Definition, something similar to stimuli associated with sexual acidity in the natural environment. Researcher, Michael Damian, study, learning enables animals to adapt to their environments. Law of effect Definition, Thorndike's principle that behaviors followed by favorable consequences become more likely, and behaviors followed by unfavorable consequences become less likely. Researcher, B.F. Skinner, Study, N.A. Operant Chamber Definition, Endoperant Conditioning Research, a chamber containing a bar key that an animal can manipulate to obtain a food or water reinforcer, attached devices record the animal's rate of bar pressing or key pressing, researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, used to explore the precise conditions that foster efficient and enduring learning. Shaping Definition, an operant conditioning procedure in which reinforcer guide behavior toward closer and closer approximations of the desired behavior, researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, reward responses close to desired behavior and ignore others to shape complex behaviors. Reinforcer Definition, endoperant conditioning, any event that strengthens the behavior it follows, researcher. B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Positive reinforcement Definition, increasing behaviors by presenting positive stimuli, such as food, a positive reinforcer, is any stimulus that, when presented after a response, strengthens the response. Researcher, B.F. Skinner, example, giving you kids an allowance each week if they make their bed every day increases the frequency of the bed making because they want the allowance. Negative reinforcement Definition, increasing behaviors by stopping or reducing negative stimuli, such as shock, a negative reinforcer is any stimulus that when removed after a response strengthens the response, researcher. B. 
B.F. Skinner, example, nagging your kids and not stopping until they make their beds increases the frequency of the bed making because they want your nagging to stop. Primary Reinforcer Definition, an innately reinforcing stimulus, such as one that satisfies a biological need. Researcher, B.F. Skinner, Study, N.A. Conditioned Reinforcer Definition, a stimulus that gains its reinforcing power through its association with a primary reinforcer, researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Continuous reinforcement Definition, reinforcing the desired response every time it occurs, researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Partial Reinforcement Definition, reinforcing a response only part of the time, results in slower equestion of a response, but much greater resistance to extinction that always continuous reinforcement researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Fixed Ratio Schedules Definition, reinforces a behavior after a set number of responses, researcher, B.F. Skinner. Example, Bade gets a 15-minute break after cleaning three rooms. Variable Ratio Schedules Definition, reinforces a response after an unpredictable number of responses, researcher, B.F. Skinner, example, a charity makes an average of 10 phone calls for every donation it receives. Fixed Interval Schedules Definition, reinforces a response only after a specific time has elapsed, researcher, B.F. Skinner. Example, getting allowance every Sunday. Variable interval schedules. Definition, reinforces a response at unpredictable time intervals, researcher, B.F. Skinner. Example, watching and seeing shooting stars on a dark night. Punishment Definition, an event that decreases the behavior that it follows. Researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Cognitive Map Definition, a mental representation of the layout of one's environment, researcher, B.F. Skinner. Example, after exploring a maze, rats act as if they learned the cognitive map of it. Latent learning Definition, learning that occurs but is not apparent until there is an incentive to demonstrate it. Researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Intrinsic Motivation Definition, a desire to perform a behavior effectively for its own sake, researcher, B.F. Skinner. Study, N.A. Extrinsic Motivation 
Definition, a desire to perform a behavior to receive promised rewards or avoid threatened punishment researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Operant behavior Definition, behavior, that operates on the environment, producing consequences, researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Operant conditioning Definition, a type of learning in which the behavior is strengthened if followed by a reinforcer or diminished if followed by a punisher, researcher, B.F. Skinner, study, N.A. Observational learning Definition, learning by observing others, researcher, Albert Bandura, study, N.A. Modeling Definition, the process of observing and imitating a specific behavior, researcher, Albert Bandura, study, N.A. Mirror neurons Definition, frontal lobe neurons that fire when performing certain actions or when observing another. Doing so, the brain's mirroring of another's action may enable imitation and empathy. Researcher Giacomo Rizzolatti, study, makes emotions contagious such as yawning when others yawn or smiling when others smile. Prosocial behavior Definition, positive, constructive, helpful behavior, researcher, Albert Bandura, example. Encouraging your children to read by reading to them and surrounding them with books and people that Antisocial effects Definition, possible response of observational learning, researcher, Albert Bandura, example, watch abusive parents and become abusive when you are a parent or kids watching TV learn bad habits and get idea that violence is acceptable. Differentiate between associative and non-associative learning. Associative learning is characterized by linking two or more environmental stimuli together, whereas non-associative learning involves a change based on experiences that occurs without linking stimuli together. Provide examples from your own life that illustrate an instance of habituation and sensitization. Example in which habituation leads to a decreased response and sensitization leads to an increased response. Describe the research methodology that scientists have used to study non-associative learning in C. Slugs. The gill and siphon are withdrawn when the creature is touched. Habituation, repeatedly touching the animal results in decreased withdrawal of the gill and siphon. Sensitization, application of Electric shock followed by mild tactile stimulus results in increased withdrawal of the gill and Identify the U.S. Er, CS and CR of Pavlov's initial study with the lab assistant. Food was the unconditioned stimulus which produced salivation as the unconditioned response. 
Initially, the sight of the lab assistant was neutral, but the mere sight of the assistant paired with food eventually led to salivation. Describe how extinction occurs in the context of classical conditioning. Extinction occurs after repeated presentation of the CS without the UK. For example, in Pavlov's studies, the lab assistant would appear, but not provide the dogs with food. Eventually, the salivation at the sight of the assistant stopped. Define stimulus generalization and describe how little Albert's fears became generalized. Similar stimuli elicit the same response as the CS. Albert's fear of white rats generalized to fear of other white stimuli such as people with white beards. Provide an example of a specific phobia. Explain how the condition may have developed through classical conditioning by identifying the sequence of events associated with the U.S., ER, CS, and CR. One example is arachnophobia. At some time in the past, a person may have been bitten by a spider which resulted in pain. Now the mere sight of a spider leads to an unreasonable degree of fear. Explain how a conditioned taste aversion occurs by identifying the U.S., ER, CS, and CR. True cause of illness and sickness, food and resulting nausea. Describe Thorndike's puzzle box experiment. Thorndike placed cats inside a box where they had to press a pedal to escape. Escape led to a food reward. The first escape was due to random behavior of stepping on the pedal, but later escapes occurred more quickly when cats would immediately press the pedal to escape and get the food reward. Explain the difference between punishment and negative reinforcement. Punishment decreases the frequency of a behavioral response. Negative reinforcement increases the frequency of a behavioral response. How effective her time out techniques at motivating children to change their behavior. How do the Circumstances of the situation and the individual characteristics of the child impact the effectiveness of time out. Removing your child from the problem situation may not be a sufficiently aversive consequence to effect. Behavior. In fact, for some children, being removed from the situation may actually be rewarding. Time out may also be ineffective with children who act out in order to receive attention from.
What is the difference between a primary and secondary reinforcer? Provide an example of each. Primary reinforcers fulfill basic biological whereas secondary reinforcers are designed to increase the likelihood of obtaining a primary reinforcer. Examples are food and money. Define and provide examples of fixed and variable interval schedules of reinforcement. Fixed interval schedules provide rewards after a certain amount of time has elapsed. Variable interval schedules provide rewards after varying lengths of time. Describe how battered spouse syndrome may result from learned helplessness. Repeated, inescapable abuse by a spouse may lead the battered individual to accept the abuse without attempting to avoid or stop it. Describe an example of insight learning from your own experience. Unsuccessful work on a difficult problem and a eureka moment at a later time that occurs when the solution became obvious. Describe the methodology and the results of the Bobo doll study. One group of children saw a video of a woman beating up an inflatable doll. Then, they were given the opportunity to play in a room full of toys. Children who had seen the video were twice as likely to display violent behavior towards the Bobo doll as children who had not seen the video. Describe why correlational evidence does not imply causality when describing the relationship between television watching and child aggression. Illustrates that two variables are related, one does not necessarily cause the other. Children who watch television excessively may have less positive environmental influences in their lives. Awareness and attention usually enhance learning. Describe an instance when awareness and excessive attention may impair learning. Procedural learning such as skills demonstrated by gymnasts may be impaired by excessive attention. What did have mean by cells that fire together, wire together? Cells that are activated at the same time have stronger synapses than those that do not fire together. Describe what behavior in habituation studies allows psychologists to determine that newborns can distinguish between new and familiar stimuli. Newborns typically stop moving when they are exposed to new stimuli. When they stop displaying this behavior, they have become accustomed to the new stimuli and they recognize it. Describe the findings of research on gender differences in math achievement.
Starting in high school, boys tend to outperform girls on standardized math achievement tests. The magnitude of these gender differences is slight variation within each gender is greater than the magnitude of between gender variation. What biological factor may affect gender differences in learning? Differences in responses to physical stress may explain gender differences in test-taking. On average, girls become more emotionally perturbed than boys by the stress of taking tests. Describe how the diagnoses of AD and ADHD differ. AD is primarily an inability to concentrate, whereas ADHD refers to the inability to concentrate, accompanied by problematically high activity levels. What does the data in a learning curve illustrate? The rate at which learning occurs, how performance changes over time. Name two major types of associative conditioning. Classical and operant conditioning. What does the term unconditioned refer to in the context of classical conditioning? Not learned. Even after Pavlov's assistant stopped bringing food to the dogs during visits, the dogs salivated. Weeks later when they saw the assistant, what learning phenomenon does this describe? Spontaneous Recovery in Watson's studies, what initially neutral stimulus did, little Albert eventually come to fear. Fear. White rat. How do phobias develop? Learning associations between a neutral and a dangerous stimulus so that they come to fear a relatively harmless cue. What two groups of individuals may be especially vulnerable to condition taste aversion? Pregnant people and those undergoing chemotherapy. What school of thought in psychology was dedicated to understanding the principles of operant conditioning? Behaviorism What learning phenomenon involves administering an unpleasant consequence? Positive punishment What reinforcement schedule is based on elapsed time? Interval what behavior occurs when prior experiences involving inescapable punishment lead people or animals to accept punishing consequences when they could be avoided? Learned helplessness Name one type of learning that does not involve the provision of obvious reinforcement. Late Interinsight Learning Who conducted the Bobo Doll Experiment? Albert Bandura What type of statistical analysis shows strong evidence that exposure to aggressive media is related to aggressive behavior in children?
correlation, correlational. Name two other factors that may explain the relationship between television and aggression in children. Socioeconomic status, parental involvement, etc. What type of information do we most often learn about in educational courses? Semantic or factual? What learning mechanism did Kyle suggest? Learning is accompanied by formation of new synapses. Name two developmental milestones that occur in early childhood. Speech, crawling, walking. Before American Idol, a Caucasian male was told, Caucasians cannot sing or dance. What type of threat does this statement illustrate? Stereotype threat What drugs can be used to treat an ADHD? Ritalin, Adderall, etc. How are prescription drugs that are used to treat attention deficit disorder being misused? If attention deficit disorder is being overdiagnosed, then children who do not truly have the disorder are taking medication that is unneeded. The side effects of this unneeded medication can be harmful. Some college students are also taking Ritalin in order to enhance attention, memory, learning, and exam performance. 